Hello and welcome back. Today we're going through some more world coins, coins that have kindly been sent into my peer box. So a massive thank you to everyone that has kindly uh, sent coins in for these world coin hunts. If you have sent coins in, I've got a bit of a backlog that I'm slowly working through uh, with all the different coins that people have sent in. Firstly, though, we're going to look at my new Mr. Front page. New Mr. is the website I log my coin collection on. I get all the details, the annotations for these videos from New Mr. I'm not sponsored or incentivized to send you across to New Mr. It's just a website I've been using for many years and would highly recommend it if you haven't tried it already. We'll return to the screenshot at the end of the video, but for the time being, let's look at some coins. So today we've got some coins from Zach Keys. We start with, look at that. 20 cents. Centenary of Federations, Australian? It is 2001. Look at that. I don't even know what creature that is. Is it a... a I don't know, a wombat or something? I don't know. Very cool though. Not one that I immediately recognise either. Um Ooh. Um I kind of recognise this design. Was it Bangladesh? I'm not sure. Uh, Sanskriti kind of writing, and again, that that design looks very familiar. But other than Bangladesh, nothing is coming to mind. Wow, interesting. That's one to check in the edit. We've got five cents with a interesting looking design there. I don't recognise this either. Oh, Solomon Islands, 1977, the, the Silver Jubilee year. What an interesting design that is. Mm. Um, back to Australia, 1993. $1, what did that say there? Landcare, Australia. Oh, another bizarre one. Again. Not a coin I recognise, which is interesting. Um, Portuguese, Republic of Portuguese, five Avos. Is this Macau? Yeah, Macau, 1967. Interesting coin, that. Um, that's an Australian 10 cents from 2020 with the portrait of the Queen. I think this is a Jodie Clark portrait of the Queen as well, if memory serves. Very nice. And we've got New Caledonia, 20 francs. We've got some uh, cattle on there. What did that say there? Oh, I think it's the maybe an artist's uh, name. Again, New Caledonia, not a place in the world I have all that many coins from. Fascinating. My goodness, okay. Uh. <laughs> Goodness gracious, okay. Um, if we look at the characters, I think this is a Japanese character. Other than that, your guess is as good as mine. I don't know which orientation this is supposed to be in either. Like that? Like that? Is that supposed to be a one or is it a line? I think like this. I think that's the orientation. Yeah. That would make sense. Interesting. Well, other than a guess that that might be Japan, I've got no clue. Uh, back to Australia, 2020. It's a five cents, this cute little, it's an echidna, isn't it? Very nice. So I do like animals on coins, so that's some real interesting ones so far. What is this, 2002? 
Botswana. Wow. Five. What does that say? Thebe? Theba? Theba? Thebe? I don't know. Interesting bird. Like Botswana. I don't know if I've even had a coin from Botswana in the past. That could be a new country. Which would be kind of cool. Not many countries in the world I don't have coins from now. But no, fascinating little coin that one. I really like that. Um, Argentina. 20 centavos from 1974. What an interesting mix we're getting today. There's quite a few coins left here, so we'll carry on. Uh, Vietnam, 5,000 dong. What a huge number for a coin. 5,000. 2003 dated. And I want to listen to it. Oh, lots of interesting coins. Um, oh, Malaya. 20 cents. 1948. Ah, crown portrait of King George VI. Very nice. An aluminium coin. Um, ooh. I don't know. <laughs> Literally no clue. Um, the, the kind of characters makes me think it might be like Myanmar or somewhere like that. Although, again, that is an absolute guess. Interesting scalloped coin, though. Interesting shape. Well, Getting stumped left, right, and centre today. Um, one centavo de la impera. Um, oh, Honduras, 1957. It's a teeny tiny little coin, this one. Fascinating. Um, 1962, 10 centavos. Are we staying in South America? Well, the Philippines, no. Very cool. Interesting erupting volcano in the background there. Another well, interesting design, isn't it? Alright, carrying on. Back to Australia, 2009. $1. Uh, Commonwealth. What's that say? Centenary of Commonwealth Age Pension. Ooh. There we go. I'm not quite sure what that's about though. An anniversary of some sort of state pension maybe? Yeah, out in Australia. And we've got a square coin. Again, Crown Portrait King George the Sixth. King Emperor. One cent. Again, Malaya. 1940. Always interesting seeing square coins. They're so different from the coins I'm used to seeing in the UK that they do really stand out. And we're, this is the Philippines again, isn't it? Yep. Um, one centavo. Again, another erupting volcano. 1963. Lovely. And we've got 10 uh, Fennig. This is going to be German. Is there a year on it? Didn't spot it on. Maybe it's on the bottom, it's a little bit damaged down there. I'm being really, really dense here. I don't spot a date. Um, okay. There's nothing on the edge inscription. I must just being really, really dense. I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well, try my best. Also, I'm editing the video. We've got four or five more coins, so we'll just wrap off with these. Run a bit longer than usual. Ten cents from um, Malaya and British Borneo. 1953, that's the coronation year for Queen Elizabeth II. 
background portrait of her on the obverse. Very nice. And then I think this is Taiwan. Yeah. Don't know what way around it goes though. I think that is Taiwan. We've got Colombia, 1959. Uh, Diaz Centavos. What a striking image that is. That's lovely, isn't it? Very nice design. But not a coin then. 5T. Is this Papua New Guinea? It is. Uh, so we've um, Toa, 1975. Five Toa, I think. Not entirely convinced by that, but we've got a cool looking uh, um, turtle, isn't it? Tortoise have feet, turtles have flippers. I think that's the right way around. Last up then, my goodness. We're going to Indonesia with one Rupiah from 1970. Very cool. Well, what a fascinating mixture of different coins from all over the world. Some really interesting stuff there, so I really appreciate uh, you sending those in. Of course, we'll have a look back at my new Mr. Page updated in addition with all the coins that were new to my collection in today's video, so uh, I really appreciate those. And there we go, all the coins from today's video. It is really hard to pick a favourite because there are so many fascinating coins, coins from countries that uh, I've seen many a times, like Australia, but then denominations, or not denominations, but uh, designs and uh, commemorative issues I don't think I've seen before. Some really interesting animal coins. I like this one from Colombia as well. Uh, I would struggle to pick a favourite. There are so many fascinating coins, but you'll have to let me know in the comments what you'd pick as the star find. Um, I can't quite put my finger on which one was my favourite. There were so many contenders. Um, but again, thank you very much for sending those in. They've been fascinating to have a dig through. Um, as usual, you'll find links in the description of this video across to my coin collecting Discord server if you'd like to come and join me over on that. There's also links to my other social media channels, the PO Box address if you want to write in to me, and of course a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel, the company I work for as my day job, so please check them out too. All it leaves me to do now though is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.